Hey guys, and welcome back to Audit Watch, the best place to find your favorite police interactions on the internet. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoy and subscribe if you are new around here. But anyways, let's get straight into today's episode. I haven't broken the law. Do you know the Pentacle, Florida Pentacle, I'm presenting ID? Okay. Do you know it? Do you know it? I, I, absolutely it I know it. That's why you're not getting it. You can get it, but it's going to cost you. In this video, the man filming is being cornered and questioned by two police officers who refuse to show their own faces and badge numbers. The man filming states several times that the owner has allowed him to be where he is, but they still press him for his name. He refuses. He then asks if he is being detained. When they say no, he tells them to leave. The police officers then tell him to leave. When the owner finally comes outside to see what's going on, the police try to say that the man filming cannot be on the property. The owner says that he can, so they finally leave. The cameraman chases them for a little while just to send the point home that they had no right to do what they did. I just went down there and talked to your major. I just went and talked to your major. What's your name and your badge number? What's your name and your badge number? Your name and your badge number. What is your name? There's the one right there. His, his bird supersedes that. No. The owner says I can be right here. So try it again. Okay. Try it again. What are you doing here? None of your business. What are you doing here? You're not, you're not, what, none of your business. What are you doing here? I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. No, you're not. Not harassing me. I'm not harassing What's your name and your badge number? I already told you. What is your you name? You didn't tell me. What is your name? What is your name and your badge number? What is your you can name? call me daddy. daddy. Okay. If you want my name, it's going to cost you. And it's expensive. Right. It yeah. might cost you your job. It's expensive. It might cost you your job. Right. None of your business. Call me none of your business. Okay, none of your business. Thank you. Thank you. Is this a consensual conversation? Is this a consensual conversation? Am I being detained? No, you're not. But get out of my face then. Get out of my face. Why don't you walk away? You work for me. I don't work for you. Get out of my face. You were a public servant, aren't you? Aren't you a public servant? Aren't you a public servant? No, I'm not. So you can get out of my face. No, I'm not giving you my name. I haven't broken the law. Do you know the Pentacle, Florida Pentacle, I'm presenting ID? Okay. Do you know it? Do you know it? I, absolutely, it I know it. That's why you're not getting it. You can get it, but it's going to cost you. What is it going to cost you? It's going to might cost you your job. It's okay, expensive. Really? Okay. Yeah, okay. It's expensive. Okay. It might cost you your job. Whatever you say, buddy. So, I don't, if, it's not, if I'm not being detained, I wish you'd get out my face and leave no. me alone. Okay. I, you go ahead and leave. I was already here. Okay, then go ahead and leave. I'm already here on the owner's property. Okay. So, you can get out my face. Leave me alone. I'm not giving you nothing. Okay, that's fine. What's your name and your badge number? There's the owner right there. No. So? So? Can I patronize your business? Can I patronize your business? No, don't spend money. You're not patronizing. Ask him, do you want me to leave? Ask him, do you want me to leave? Ask him, do you want me to leave? He didn't say yes. Sir, do you want me to leave? Do you want me to leave? Do you want me to leave? Thank you. So stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop lying, public servant. Stop lying, public servant. Stop lying, public servant. Stop lying, public servant. Look, the camera don't lie. You demanded it. You demand. You told me I was gonna give it to you. You told me I was gonna give it to you. You told me I was the camera do. The camera know what I'm talking about. The camera know what I'm talking about. You're gonna be a YouTube star. I make y'all famous. Excuse me, y'all, but he said something about my mom, so I had to retaliate on that. This is the tyranny that we go through. This is what I'm standing up to. The tyranny in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. That's the sheriff's department there. So they will be getting another visit from me. What are your guys' thoughts on this video? Was the man out of his rights to be hanging out in front of a store? Is that even possible? Personally, I think the police refusing to leave him alone was a major problem. Almost as if they were provoking the man filming just waiting for him to give them a reason to respond. How do you think this should have been dealt with by the police? Or was there even ever an issue that had to be dealt with? Yards from you, you approach us, okay. then you put the phone by our face, which is disrespectful for you to do to any citizen, conducting a law, con excuse me, excuse me, conducting. In this video, the two cameramen are approached by a police officer outside of the department and are asked what they're filming, first in the front and now in the back. When they say that they're filming a movie, the officer asks about what. The cameraman doesn't tell him because it's not published yet. Then, the policeman asks if they have ID on them, 
when there was no real reason for them to be asked that. The cameraman responds with, well, can I see your ID then? And the officer says, no. The cameraman responds with, well, can I see your ID then? The one that shows where you live? And the officer says, no. The officer then takes his cell phone out and starts recording the men, not only recording, but walking right up to them and sticking the camera directly in their face. The cameramen are quick to point out the double standard of invasion of privacy that the officer is able to get away with before he eventually walks away. Run the station? Yeah. Now we, you're back here? Yeah. Okay. What are you guys filming? The station. Okay. Any reason? Yeah, we can do a little story on it. Okay. What kind of story? Uh, I can't say because it's not published yet. <laughs> so I'm going to tell anyone. Yeah, but when I, I just don't want to my sources not saying any, anything. So. Okay. That's fine. Thank you, though. Just appreciate it. You guys are coming into the station, standing back here, phone and stuff. So. Yeah, we're trying to see if we can get a car coming in or out, but it doesn't seem like to be too much activity. Okay. But, no problem. Do you guys have ID on you by chance? Uh, why would I need to show your ID? I don't have to. I'm just asking. Can I see your ID? Can you see my ID? It's right here on my shirt. No, no, no. Your ID. Where you live? Oh, my ID where I live? Why would, no. Exactly. That's how I feel when you ask me for that. Okay. Yes. Uh, I didn't say you don't have to. I know, but that's just an odd question from just the, out of the random, hey, do you have ID? I was out of standing behind the station and filming. So, yeah. all right. Well, you have a good day. Have a good one. What's your badge number, Mr. Uh, 157. And how do you pronounce your name? Galia. Galia. Yep. Thank you. There we go. Oh, I'd like to call one. So, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? See how he's, uh, yeah. you guys have a great day. All right. Enjoy. Thanks for being rude and sticking them by our face. Okay. Well, who does that? Puts this stuff in another man's face. You guys are filming me. We weren't sticking it nowhere near your face, but I guess because you have a, I guess because you have a badge, it gives you the right to just imper invade people's face and just shove your phone in our face, right? Just taking a picture of it. Well, when you see the video on YouTube, you're going to see how, how we never approached you. We're 50 yards from you. You approach us. Then you put the phone by our face, which is disrespectful for you to do to any citizen. Conducting a law, con excuse me, excuse me, conducting, excuse me, conducting a lawful act. Yeah, but you know, you invade, you invade kind of like our space. We would, we would never think it. If I wait a minute, if I did that to you, sir, let me speak. You would take that as confrontation, and you, the, there's a, du there's double standard. No, you know what? You, you're dismissed. You're dismissed. You can go. Thank, thank, thank you. You just made your department look very bad for no reason. Take your hands out of your pockets, please. Yeah, you're acting suspicious. I never understood why policemen could just try asking for people's ID when they have done nothing wrong. If there is nothing illegal being done, then why create a problem just to try and solve it? The policeman definitely got too close to these men as well with his camera. If it was the other way around, who knows what would have happened next? Let us know what you think in the comments. I'm only gonna ask that you guys don't walk the sidewalk for any pedestrian traffic. Do you guys understand that? Keep your hands where I can see them. Excuse me, sir? Keep your hands where I can see them. I don't know. This policeman comes out and to his credit is polite when approaching the men to ask why they are taking pictures and filming. The man filming doesn't respond and the police asks if he cannot multitask. The cameraman asks if the policeman is in a gang because he has a lot of tattoos. The policeman asks him the same question. The cameraman tells him to leave his hands where he could see them and then that he is dismissed and finally asking, you see how this feels? After the policeman tells the men they are obstructing the sidewalk, the other man offers a California code as well as the first and fourth amendments to prove that he is doing nothing wrong and that they don't have to leave the sidewalk at all. They tell the policeman to leave and the policeman tells them to do the same thing. The policeman eventually leaves. Taking photos and video cameras the refinery. No. You either, sir. What was that? You either. Can you not multitask? Are you part of a gang? I see you got some tattoos yeah, that's not there. Rude, man. You're not that Are you part of a gang? You have tattoos. Are you doing anything you're not supposed to? No. Are you? Right. I'm only gonna ask that you guys don't walk the sidewalk for any pedestrian traffic. Do you guys understand that? Keep your hands where I can see them. Excuse me, sir? Keep your hands where I can see them. I don't know who you are, 
<laughs> what you're trying to do right now? It's just, it's just letting you know how it feels when you guys pull up and start giving directives and stuff. Okay, That's yeah, all. and That's it's all. for safety. It's for safety. I can clearly well, see both your guys' hands. We're doing it for safety too. Okay. But okay. you made it unsafe. Actually, I'm trying to make it safe for you and for them because they're fire we don't, we, we don't need you, man. Thank you. Okay, then you guys are free to go. No, we're, you're free to go. You're no. dismissed. Okay. I, I don't have to leave. If we're free to leave, we're free to stay. Uh, actually, you cannot block this. We're not way. blocking, and you have to actually, prove you some. We, you can't. Somebody has to prove that I'm blocking this. Do you, uh, you know California? Do you know called 148.G, sir? 148.G? Yeah, I know yeah. California. So, you know so we're point, filming you right now, which gives me a purpose to be standing here. And it says there's nobody watching. I'm so, going to show you guys. Wait a minute. I'm going to show what you guys. What purpose are you filming for then? It's for my, my, my purpose. Your my purpose. purpose. Of what? Of what law? I don't need to tell purpose. you, sir. Exactly, because you don't have to. Uh, the fact that I'm here recording is my purpose, and you better learn about the First Amendment, sir, or you're going to learn today really fast. Do you know what the First Amendment is? This is what freedom is of press, sir. It's freedom of press? Yeah, and I'm gathering information. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion. And you know the Fourth Amendment, sir? Yeah, a reasonable and do, you know, and do you know how California 148, subsection G, sir? Which means that this, 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 this cannot be deemed as just because I have a camera, as long as I'm in a legal place, cannot be deemed suspicious. So I want to cut off all contact because now you're interrupting my video. You have okay. a good day though, okay? Okay. Right. You have a great day too. Yeah. Right. Do you have any questions? Yeah. What are is you, that? Are you carrying anything you're not supposed to? Me? Yeah. No, are you? No. Are you? Good. Anything else? You're dismissed. Okay. You're dismissed as well, sir. In the crime. Sir. Learn the law, youngster. Oh, boy. Sir, you have a great day. Hey, can you Me state too. your name and badge number? My name is Officer Lincoln, badge 144. You're Zoom in. 144. Do you need to use your other hand to zoom in? Or you got no, it? No. Got it? Cool. Okay, You're dismissed. You're dismissed. How are you? Have a great day. You too, man. <laughs> So what are your guys' thoughts? Were the men outside of their rights to be hanging out and filming on a sidewalk? How do you think the cop handled the situation? I personally think he was respectful to them, but the question is, was there any real reason for him to approach them in the first place and ask them to leave? If I can, I can just have you sit on the curb right over there. You don't get to search me, bud. Why is that? Because you have no reason to search me. Well, there was a guy actually who... So this one's interesting. The cameraman takes the policeman through step-by-step -step questioning to make sure that he has a license to carry his gun, to see what he's doing at the gas station, where he's going from there, and where he works. The cameraman then asks if he could search the car. When the policeman says no, the man responds with, but if you have nothing to hide, what's the issue? The policeman shows the cameraman the inside of his backpack and the video ends there. Colin County Sheriff's Office. Colin County? Yes, sir. Uh, you got ID on you? I sure do. Can I see it, please? You want to see my... Yeah, please. I need to see your ID. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No problem. You licensed to carry that firearm? Sure okay. You see that ID, though? I did. I, I needed to get closer to it, but... I just should. Well, I couldn't actually see it. I was trying to make sure that I was safe before we saw You're your ID. Safe. Okay. Okay. I don't uh, post this thing. I don't take this out unless I go into a jail. Okay. Uh, so I didn't actually see your ID. What's your name then? My name is Lieutenant Yont with the Collin County Sheriff's Office. Lieutenant Yont. All right. What are you uh, What are you out here doing today? In the wrong right now. Okay. Where are you headed to? I'm going to work. All right. So you're not on the clock right now. I am on the clock. All right. Um, what brought you to work to Rockwall today? I, I work all over the state of Texas. So, so you're Collin County, but you kind of just float around everywhere yes, sir. so do you you patrol rockwall county then i do yes sir okay do you do stops out here in rockwall I county do, yes sir all right um next question is uh do you actually do you have anything illegal on you that i should know about no sir i don't okay sir. would you mind if i take a look uh, yes i would if i if i if i can i can just have you sit on the curb right over there you don't get to search me but why is that because you have no reason to search me well and it, you know if, if if there's nothing to hide I don't see why would it, there would be a problem with me just checking it out. And that way, you know, me, the public, everyone has peace of mind that... I don't think that I well, then can I check? No, sir. Okay. You, you are more than welcome to look in my car. You're okay. not, not going to search it. Could, you can stand right there and look at... Can I put the camera in there then? You can take a look, yes, sir. Okay. I don't want you to break the threshold of my door. Okay. What do you mean break... Oh, is that is that breaking the threshold, threshold here? Right so here, I just yeah. broke the... Yeah. That's called a search of that. Okay. So I can't check out that bag right there. There's here. a computer in that bag. Can we see? You want to see inside my yeah. bag? Sure. Yeah.
Okay. All right, anything else in there? So I get that it's clever to put a policeman through the paces that they would put citizens through. But let me know your thoughts on the situation. Do you think the cameraman was in the right to walk up to the policeman and just ask all these questions? How do you think the policeman responded to everything? Should the cameraman have been allowed to search inside the car? And what did you ultimately take away from this citizen and policeman interaction where the roles were certainly reversed? That is not how it works. That is exactly how it works. Your job when I ask for a supervisor is to get on that radio and call one. No. Yes, no, it I is. I have to know what is the issue. The issue is that you don't want to look at federal law that I'm trying to show you, which would explain my In this video, the policeman asks the man to wait outside the post office while he talks to the man working. To this, the cameraman refuses and repeatedly tries to tell the officer his reasoning for doing what he's doing. The policeman asks him to wait outside multiple times, but the cameraman refuses and tries to state federal law for the reasons for his actions. The policeman asks him to wait outside multiple times, but the cameraman refuses and tries to state federal law for the reason for his actions. He then goes on to ask for the policeman's supervisor a number of times. He points out on multiple government-issued flyers that he's allowed to record for press and journalistic purposes, to which the policeman says he needs to prove he's a journalist with the necessary papers. The cameraman says no, he doesn't, and that response seems to stump the police officer. He goes back outside and gets in his car and drives away, along with the other policeman that showed up. Wait outside, sir? No, no, no. I, I'm gonna. I'll, I'm I'll gonna talk wait. to you in a minute. Can you wait outside, please? No, no, yeah, thing. no, 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 no. This is. They asked you to wait outside, so they, you, you have to. No, no. Before, before you make a mistake, I'm can I? A mistake. No, no. Before I'll you, wait, I'll um, talk to you in a minute. All right. I understand you're gonna talk to me in a minute, but minute. there's something you should. There's something you should look at first before you start trying to make unlawful I'm not, orders. I'm not making anything. I just said I'll talk to you in a minute. Just wait outside. That's can, what I'm asking. I'm, I'm, and I'm, I'm gonna, you I'm gonna outside. politely decline your request. Politely. Um. There's nothing. You know. Okay. What's going on? I, 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 the, you can't point. You have to tell me what's going on. This gentleman is harassing me. We're we'll allowed to do it. Personal questions. Personal questions like, what's your name? Okay, so, sir. Sir, I said, I'll, I said I'll speak to you in a minute. Yeah. Great. I want to speak to a supervisor. Okay, that's fine. But first, you have to tell me what you were doing. That's not how it works. Purpose. That is how it works. That is not how it works. That is exactly how it works. Your job when I ask for a supervisor is to get on that radio and call one. No. Yes, no, it I is. You have to know what is the issue. The issue is that you don't want to look at federal law that I'm trying to show you, which would explain my purpose here. You're being very, you're being very stubborn, and you don't want to look at the federal I'm law that I'm going to show you. I'm asking you to tell me what your purpose is. Since you're being stubborn and don't want to look at it, I would like to speak to a supervisor, okay. First, and I'm sure know. your supervisor okay. will okay. educate you on exactly what I'm doing here today. You need, well, I think you, you do, I sir. I think you do. I'm asking you a question. What is your question? I asked you what. what is... I am, I am, I am filming here in the post office. I understand you're filming here. Why? Mm -hmm. Is that your whole purpose is to film here? Excuse me, ma'am. Is that your whole purpose is to film here? Like I said, I can show it to so, you. So your whole purpose is to film here. Is that I can show, I can show it to you if you'd like. Just be reasonable. That's what I'm doing. These are the rules and regulations governing the conduct on postal property, which I don't even know if you have jurisdiction here in the first place, but we do. right here. Photographs for news, advertising, commercial purposes, right there. Commercial purposes, so both of them. So, for, for news, okay, so you're... I'm a journalist. You, okay, so you have your journalist papers, because you do need that. If you're I, telling me you're a journalist, you actually have to provide that. Really? Yes, you do. That you is, that's... Yes, if you're saying you're a journalist, then officer, you're, you're an actual journalist. Yeah, officer, I don't have so, to prove to you anything about me being a journalist. Hey, Sarge, can I talk to you for a second? Let him know, Sergeant. Let him know, Sergeant. There you go. Bye. Take care. Hey, bye. I wish we knew what was actually happening in this situation before. The man working at the post office seemed innocent enough and said that the cameraman was harassing him. But the cameraman was in his rights the whole time to be in the post office, stay in the post office, and record in the post office without issue. Was the policeman too confrontational or aggressive from the jump, or did he handle the situation well? 
Let us know in the comments what you think about how the policeman and the cameraman both acted in this situation. Thanks for making it to the end of the video, guys. Once again, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for your daily dose of police encounters.